Everybody, and welcome to this week's Shed Adventure. And of course, first of thing, um, a happy new year to everyone. Um, and interesting enough, it must have been a severely boring Christmas. We've had quite a few new subscribers, so so welcome to all the uh, all the new guys. Um, some would say we're a small band of people. I would rather use the word select, a select band. So welcome, and I want to thank one or two people. You, you know who you are for some very kind words over the uh, over the festive. Uh, the festive season to keep my spirits up and uh, keep me surging forth with shed adventures. So what are we going to cover today? Well, normally I look around the shed and um, something catches my eye and uh, I, I waffle on about it. But something happened a few days ago outside shed adventures. I was sat here. I was actually, I was working next door there in the in the uh, workshop. And I was looking out the window and there was this there was this guy, this rather dodgy, seedy looking bloke walking about up the side of my house. So I looked for a minute and he kept looking and walking up and down and I thought, I don't like the look of this guy. So I I popped out and I gave him that, uh, you know, that, that classic British country friendly welcome. Oi, you, what are you doing? And uh, he responded by politely asking him who the heck was I. Um, so I informed him that I was the, the owner of the house and the land he was stood on and what was he doing rooting around in my in my bushes. Well, I'll grab the camera, I'll take you outside and I'll show you because I personally found it quite fascinating and we'll see, we'll see if you do. Back in a moment. Right everybody, now here we are. Excitingly, down the side of my house where I found this gentleman peering through my bushes. Now, you're going to have to look really closely. But can you see, can you see this line scored into my brickwork? Hopefully you can. And the observant, observant amongst you will see these lines also scored really deeply into my into my wall. Now I can tell you what those are. Those are the crow foot marks of Her Majesty's government. That's what they mark anything that belongs to the government or indeed in the army. Tools even had these these marks on it. So this is a government mark with a line on my house. Now first question is anyone know what, what that's all about? If not, let's go back to the shed and I will explain everything. So, welcome back into the relative warmth of Shed HQ. So what was that line with the, with the ministry government mark on it on my building? Well, the first thing is, is my building is an old converted schoolhouse. So it was at one stage a government owned building. So bear that in mind. Anyway. Um, this guy stood up and he looked at me and he said, I'm looking for your tide mark. I went, well, I'm sorry. I can tell you we are exactly 96 metres above sea level here. I said, there is no tide mark here. In fact, the only tide mark, I was trying to be humorous, the only tide mark you'll find will be round the edge of my bar. He didn't laugh. Anyway, um, and I said, I know exactly it's 96 uh, metres here because it says it on Northern Server Map. And I said, funnily, it's exactly where you're standing. And he went, yes, of course it is. And then he pulled back those bushes like I did and showed me the mark. He said, yes, that is the exact line that shows you that Orcheston is measured off for the UK at 96 metres. And there's the mark. And I'm going around checking them on, uh, on all the buildings to make, make sure they're still in place. 
So I said, well, it, it, explain more. I don't understand. I've got a mark m measured where and, and what from. So it's measured from a tide gauge. This is the whole of the UK. So in around 1951, and it went on for about five years, every single hour of the day and night at Newlyn, at the tide gauge, gauge, a measurement was taken. Obviously recorded. At the end of that period, a mean average was taken. And that is how the whole of the UK is measured off against sea level. So when someone says we're 100, 1,000 feet, wherever we are, above sea level, um, that comes from a tide gauge at Newlyn, measured every hour of the day and night for an extended period of years. Um, and that is how the UK is measured off against a tide, tide height, height above tide. Um, I, I found it quite interesting. I don't know if, if you do, but I'm now, of course, any time... And I asked him what sort of buildings. He said schools are very obvious. He said sometimes churches, uh, in particularly rural places. Um, they obviously asked the church authorities and, uh, and they gave permission. So um, any time I see a small village school or something, and anyone, any local historians, I ask them if they know where their village or their area tide mark is. Um, and if not, I can now explain this, uh, this, this story to them. So that's it. That shed adventure, just a quick one, a quick one uh, this uh, this week. I uh, hope you found it relatively interesting. I did, but of course that's that's my house, so I probably I probably do. Um, if you like these episodes, please like and subscribe. And I think next week will be a little bit more exciting. We're going to go out and we're going to find ourselves. We'll find a yew tree. Um, I will ask permission of a few uh, a few parish wardens and uh, and church wardens and people. Um, we'll find ourselves a yew tree in a in a churchyard and we'll get ourselves a stave and we'll see if we can start the start getting the makings of uh, an English longbow together just for a couple of uh, a couple of shed adventures if people are interested in that. OK, fantastic. Happy New Year to everyone. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye bye now.